All right, uh, so you're welcome back, and uh, you're still watching uh, Daybreak Extra right here on Trust TV, if you're just joining us. And, uh, you know, it's uh, some people say it's quota to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's a good thing it because is. we're now in my favorite segment of the show. Okay, it is? Oh, I yeah, didn't know course. that. I thought it was politics. You disrespect me too much. No, I thought it was politics. You just take me as this serious person that. So, Gary, you know I'm not in the mood to fight with time. you or argue or quarrel time. today, all right? Of the time. And you, you do know you're that. You're fond of doing this thing, and that is my problem with you. You know what to do. When you know you the right acting, thing. You tell keep... us so that we... Anyways, um, we're in my favorite segment, like I said, <laughs> the entertainment segment, and we're joined by. Dana. You shouldn't have called her name now. No, but it's... I, I look at okay, you. We're I'm joined. Sorry. I said, I said, <laughs> we're joined by, and I turned and All I right, looked at so, you. All right, so, okay, so you're welcome. <laughs> so if you could introduce yourself, because she's our co-anchor today. Yes. So. All right, thank you so much. I am Dana Daniel Zegi, and uh, I'm a broadcast journalist. Okay. So tell us what's nice to have you on Daybreak Extra. On. Okay, it's, uh, you know, the entertainment world is kind of a mashup of uh, sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. uh, we have just like everyday life. So we woke up this morning to the news, uh, the uh, uh, Maven CEO actually posted on his Instagram page that he lost his mother. That's and really sad. Really sad. And he talked about how that the mom has been, his mom has been a pillar and uh, a strong support system to whatever he was doing. And then uh, definitely that was really a hard one for him because he True. said those were the hardest words mm -hmm. uh, he had ever penned down, saying oh. he lost his mom. You know, you know I actually f feel for him because actually, uh, you know, uh, I know what he went through. Mm -hmm. I know his journey. I know how much his mom has actually supported him. I know how close he is to his mom. And, you know, when you look like your mom like that, you will definitely... Why are you taking this sort of shit no, but no, no. <laughs> Obviously, looking at the picture of I the mom, know, you would know that uh, that's, that's a like serious... Uh, see, wait, 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 wait. I know, wait, wait. I actually know men. Yourself, the, we'll men, men actually and their love moms. their moms. Yes, you know? so, of course. So, so and it's really, I, I cannot even imagine what he's going through definitely. at this moment. You know, uh, last week it was Adame, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. what do you call this? Is it Madame Kofu? You know, yes, like three, three, we lost three, you mm -hmm. know, uh, actors. And then okay. we also... So I think we're seeing a picture yeah, of Don Jazzy's mom. Uh, the mom. Um, and then that's Adam Ahmed. Adam Adam Ahmed. It's just too much quite sadness, unfortunate. you know, in the entertainment scene sure. in a week. Too yes, much. It, was, it was so, sure. it was so much. sad and so terrible. And um, obviously he has already begun by telling us how it made, it's making him feel. Mm. And then looking at, going back to the other story, which is Ada Ahmed's story mm. also, you know, uh, Ada Ahmed has dealt with grief. It it's, yeah. it's like back and forth. Well. Honestly, uh, looking Pause at an interview that she granted, I think uh, uh, she granted an, uh, an interview where she talked about how that uh, she had lost, I think, six or seven family members, mm. how close she dealt with members. that close family members, oh, some were goodness. siblings, oh, and then goodness. coming to lose her daughter That's in right. 2020, mm -hmm. in yes. October, that was like uh, the, the straw that yeah. broke, the, camel, broke yeah. the camel's back, and it really got her really down and depressed and mm. she came out and said it time and time again and uh, that brings me to the question of how we deal with mental health issues in, in the country because she came out and said she is struggling with her mental health you know a lot of people would actually say if you talk about it you know it helps a lot but mm. does it really help because after talking about it you go what back and you're alone you and get? you think about it do you get and you know actually for, for, you know forget about it you know most men do not like you know coming out or being out there but i love how vulnerable you mm. know uh, don jazzy is yes you know he's always been uh, you know he comes off as this you know uh, mm -hmm. macho mm -hmm. man this mm -hmm. alpha male mm -hmm. but he I'm is a CEO, but he's I'm actually really quite a sweetheart mm -hmm. deep inside and i love how vulnerable you know and i hope you know uh the what do you call it the social media community mm -hmm. you know that's his family's online it's, family would actually yeah, help him, him in this time, time of, of grief. grief and i hope we have uh, more people more support for the uh, um, for Celebrities like that, mm. I we yeah. really wish we have more support because looking at still looking at that Ada Ahmed's uh, story, yeah. you know she got a role even after she talked about her mental health yeah. issues. She got a role mm. and she couldn't perform. Mm. And uh, what happened was that she came on social media to say that she was being sued. Yeah, she said yes, so. She I said. remember that. So video. you could just imagine somebody going through a lot and coming out to say that that would not allow them mm. to perform how they are you, supposed to perform yeah. and then someone is suing them for that yeah. so i think we have to uh, be nicer 
to yeah. those people. They're humans Indeed. looking at beyond the glamour. Mm. Mm. Indeed, we really mm. have to be really nicer really to, to people. Um, because if you take a look at how Ada Ame was able to so excellently interpret her role mm. as, um, what's, what's her name again in Emu. the Johnson? Emu. 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 She was so full of life. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought mm -hmm. that she was going through sure. so much? If she hadn't, you know, spoken openly about what she was going through, perhaps nobody would have, you know, you know, you know, you know the funny thing, that she was going through I so actually much. agree with what he's saying. And, you know, uh, in as much as, you know, she's actually gone through a lot, she's lucky enough to have found a few people, friends, would actually stick by her, like mm. Empress, Empress and Jama. Empress. Because I met Adame at an event, you know, like two years ago, and... You could actually tell if you're someone who had actually been through a lot, mm. you would actually see it in that in person's eyes. But you know, she gave up this, oh, I'm okay, I'm she happy covers vibe. Up. Yeah, she covers up. You know, and when you're going through mental illness, you you won't even know. People mm -hmm. will not mm -hmm. know. And that's most of most of the time, you know, uh, most of these people they you feel they're they're at their happiest. Mm -hmm. But after that happiness, what happens, you know, behind the curtains? Mm -hmm. Look at the case of Robin Williams, right? Same thing. Who knew he, he actually suffered mm -hmm. a mental so breakdown much. and he, mm -hmm. you know, committed suicide? You've had a lot of them like that. Today they are happy, tomorrow they're gone. Mm. Th that's what makes um, mental illness more, even the more dangerous because, mm -hmm. you know, you can't actually use face value to determine yeah. whether these Predict. persons are mm -hmm. facing, really of course, you know, whatever it is. It's just a few of them that you see it you know, show on their face and you ask, are you okay? But what about those who come into, you know, go out every day with a smiley face, mm -hmm. even help they those people who happy. might even look down yes. to get on their exactly. feet, yes. only to hear subsequently that this person was going probably committed suicide than... because mm -hmm. of, you know, such reasons. And you're and look like, at what happened. I mean, just me, hours before uh, she slumped and was declared dead, um, she posted a video of herself. Obviously, who would, have thought, yes, who would have thought that she was still uh, going, going through, through something or she had something possibly mm. underlying, an ailment or something like that. She looked all, uh, all fine and all uh, happy at that mm. moment. And yeah. she looked like, okay, I'm keeping the whole, the whole stress down and I want to come out and be happy again. Sure. Well, uh, may their souls rest in Amen. perfect peace. Amen. That's really you know, all we can actually pray for right now. Let's move on to the next. All step. right, uh, moving on to Idris Abdul Karim. He is a rapper, a Nigerian rapper, yeah. mm. uh, who has also been battling with his health. Mm. So, talking about Idris Abdul Karim now, uh, there is this GoFundMe project okay. that uh, is ongoing for him to en ensure that uh, well-meaning Nigerians are able to, uh, to, to donate fund funds for his, kidney, uh, for his transplant. Yeah, kidney transplant. And I think it's coming up uh, in days from today. Okay. Uh, I think uh, MI, when MI posted on his uh, Instagram uh, page, uh, he said that uh, it was going to be on the 27th and they already had a donor from his family mm. that was willing to give out the kidney. Okay. And But then recently he also came down to just calm um, and ease the tension that is to say that he was actually not as bad as, but then it's bad, it, but then... It is, a transplant. Yeah, a transplant, definitely. it's bad, but then he's kind of giving people that uh, hope that he will be better and yes. he is actually okay. That's now. so true, Dana, uh, because uh, yeah. I, saw, mm -hmm. I saw a video. Yeah, yes, a video. The, the video he posted, he posted yesterday by yeah. the beach, right? Yes, that's Where it. he was, but then for, he has lost a lot of weight, one. Obviously. Secondly, there was really no excitement in his voice mm, of course and also he couldn't even walk well so it was it was so emotional for me i think i think this I, is this is the time because they say prayer solves a lot yeah. of things mm -hmm. yes. so we need to you know pray for him and you know for him to actually recover mm. quickly because look at sound sultan i just actually you know thought about mm. it and you know uh, yeah exactly so yes. we, we actually need to pray about it because it's one thing only god knows what he's going through sure. and i want to actually ask mm. Is it possible that because you have a lot of actors and musicians when they, you know, get to a certain age in their lives, they start, you know, developing one form of ailment or the other. Mm -hmm. Could it be the lives they actually lived yeah, yeah, while they were a lot of, younger? Of okay, a you know, lifestyle. Uh, I, I would yes. not want to go with the lose kind of lifestyle, possibly. But then I think uh, I read in an article somewhere that uh, Africans are more prone to kidney failures than okay. uh, other races. Is that so 
so we are working by, with is that research by, by Africans? Uh, no, I don't. I can't really remember. Because but then I think true. I wrote it that's, somewhere. That's really I'm really not an authority point. in that. Not a question. That's a really valid point. Thank you. Thank you. I just asked the question, please. By Africans. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I just. But, but then it says uh, we're prone to. But then our lifestyle, mm. the kind of lives we live, kind of make us even more susceptible, uh, susceptible okay, to okay. such uh, ailments, especially talking about kidney failures. Mm. Now, because uh, it's rampant. It talks, it's it rampant, is. and that's uh, what uh, we're talking about right now. And as it relates to uh, the rapper Idris Abdul Karim. So I think, I don't know if that is true. I think we'll do a research and mm. check out the facts uh, more what, so that we come and talk about is it. it. When I think of all these things, I just feel really emotional because Tashin, if you look at it, we're you beginning emotional. to love. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You see, all of those artists that we grew up listening to, we're beginning to lose them and it's like mm -hmm. we're losing them Mm -hmm. at the okay, tip of okay. our fingers and there's nothing we, will we can not do lose them there's like nothing that we can again. do like i feel so so we actually bad. have a few more minutes so can we just okay take um one more? Uh, okay now uh, to a lighter more uh, exciting yeah, story please, now yeah. because it's been sad sad mm -hmm. from the beginning yes. to now so let's talk about uh, the comeback of p square peter and paul mm. Mm. Lovely, so. lovely comeback. Why mm. was there going away in the first place? Okay, in the mm. first like, place, <laughs> there were <laughs> lots of, sto mm. lots of mm. stories everywhere mm. about the go away mm. or the breakup. I love, and, um, I love that. You know comeback. how Nigerians have been praying mm. that uh, they would have them back together mm. because uh, that was like that. That's like a powerful combo. Mm. Prayer, like, prayers answer it all things. Mm. So you feel the prayers have been answered yes, with the comeback. Has. So they've made My a comeback with answered. two singles, uh, which we have Jaye and we have uh, Find Someone. Find someone. Mm -hmm. And the Jaye, if you look at responses, people react, people's reactions mm. on social media, the Jaye is like... Uh, An anthem. It's like a bomb. Have, I, like have I heard it? I doubt it. Look, uh, see, okay, find you someone know, you know is going to be the jam of the year. You know, the, the, fun, right the funny thing, the you, thing too, is, you know, lovely. I actually love, you know, the fact that they're back together, not just for their music, but as brothers, not just as brothers, as twins. twins you know, as twins, twins yeah. actually find a way to, you know, get back together. Dashan would know. Dashan would know because No, they find a way to actually settle their differences. But it took too long. I've never seen twins this, you know. Yes, I've never seen it. It's, it's, and you know the question that this brings to my mind? I hope the issues that broke them up have been settled. I hope you don't see anything like that come up. Mm. Because it had to do with their career. Yeah. Whatever broke them apart it made the career, their career suffer. Mm. And we hope that we don't see that again. Hopefully. 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 How long does it take you, and, Please, you and your twin brother to settle your differences? Oh really? We don't. She, of course, she we don't. That's, really that's why she's speaking like so passionately oh, yeah, about yeah. it. We don't really fight like that. So, but you know, it's all we're, we're mature now. Back then, we actually used to Go give ourselves it. blows and but all it's, that. It's, but it's really but a right good now, thing that you're we're back older. together. Sure, it's a good thing. It's a good it is. Thing. It's fantastic. For mm -hmm. All right. So with that, we have come to the end of the show. Thank you so much, Dana Daniel Zegi, for joining us on the entertainment segment. Thank today. you so much. Dashing. We hope to have you again. Thank you. All right. With this, thank you so much of viewers for tuning in it was an awesome time you know uh being here on the show we'll be back again next week saturday same time 8 a.m same station trust tv i remain dash and husseina usman and i am sagir ibrahim thank me for making the program a lively one see you next week <laughs>